So I want to give you a quick look over Brancher.ai. It's been a tool that I've been working with to quickly play around with creating user-facing AI models using no, a no-code solution. So it's pretty neat to be able to generate these pretty quickly. And so it takes advantage of GT, GPT-3, as well as you're able to generate images using Dolly. Uh, so what it does, it does really well. And actually, I'll pull up an example I've been working on. Uh, you're able to, using their node code builder, as well as they have some templates in here, uh, create the interface, a really simple interface for someone to interact with the OpenAI model, uh, as well as you can kind of define the prompts and the inputs that someone would use. So like an example here, um, I'm co-founder of Six Degrees, so we have a dating app. And so one idea was to create a small AI tool that helps people with comments. So I wanted to kind of test this idea out. Uh, so what I've done is create a really simple form that captures the last person's message or my message. Then the person that I connect it with, I can enter in their response. Then I can select the type of response I want the model to generate fun, inquisitive, flirty, make a move. Then down here, I've written a prompt and I can expand upon it, but I wanted to do this pretty quickly, but I kind of insert the variable of the type of response type of response into the um, prompt here. Then I insert the part of the message that I typed, and then I put insert the message of the person who responded. Uh, and then, or actually I realized this should be connection response. All right. The other thing I added, which could be fun, I don't know if someone would use this, but I use the type of response in the to generate an image based upon the response that the OpenAI model generated based upon my last message and then my connections message. So ideally, if it says I love hiking, it generates some fun or inquisitive hiking image that maybe that person can use and post in their message to their connection. So if we take a look. This is how it works. I'll do a quick example of how this works. I'm going to go ahead and drop in a message. Here's my message. Here's their connection reply back. And then I want a inquisitive response. Sorry. So this is pretty neat about it. It's going to make a request to open a or G GTP3. Um, it looks like they haven't updated to GTP4 just yet, but you'll see in the prompt that I wrote, I asked it to generate two different responses back. So I have two options to pick from or whoever the person who uses this prompt would have. Well, maybe I can help you break into some new running shoes. How about we go for a run together? One thing I have noticed, um, GTP3 is pretty aggressive. So it's going to go and try to make the move pretty quickly. Wow, those look pretty hideous, but yeah, that could be interesting. <laughs> the image is pretty hideous, but that's okay. Uh, but it did. It kind of ran off the idea of it took the comment and responses, and I guess it figured out that maybe we should create an image with two running shoes next to each other. So that could be fun. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick overview of kind of Brancher.ai, no code solution for quickly building interfaces to allow people to iterate with a, a LLM or a large language model to generate some responses really quickly. And there's really fun and creative ways you could use this in different applications from um, customer interviews to just really quick forms or things that you want to be able to provide someone quick responses to. This could be a really neat way to do it. Uh, I know they have vanity things coming down their pipeline like vanity messages or vanity URLs and being able to charge um, charge for your forms or embed them in different pages. So it'll be pretty neat as they're expanding the feature sets on how you can embed this in different places. So I think it's going to be a really great tool to take advantage of.